Hey guys and welcome to another SD gaming video and we're actually gonna have a look at a game that is not a shooter. Is that crazy or what? Yeah, I know I've been looking at far too many shoot 'em ups recently. So we're gonna have a look at a beat 'em up or brawler called uh, Desolator published by US Gold in 1988. And never played this one before, so this is going to be completely blind for me, playing the SD version at least. And the game is based on an arcade game called Kairos or Kairos no Yakata, published and developed by Alpha Denshi Kogyo in 1986. And I have never heard of this arcade game before. And this game got some pretty wonky looking graphic, just looks a bit off. Certainly not the prettiest arcade game of its time. And it's also pretty weird, I'm not sure what's going on, you're running around punching a ton of bad guys or whatever they are. And also there's some big demons that come out of nowhere and start puking fireballs at you. And then there's these paintings you can punch that makes children come out of a mirror. And then you can pick up the children and then the enemies turns into treasures or even worse monsters. It's, it's just weird, I have no idea what's going on. But it is oddly satisfying running around punching a million people in the face. I quite enjoyed it actually, and I don't really enjoy beat-em-ups or brawlers that much to be perfectly honest. I certainly prefer them over fighting games, but still not a favourite genre of mine. But yeah, this game got me intrigued and I actually might make a video about the arcade version, so... Uh, but before we do that, let's just dive into the ST version, shall we? Uh, is it supposed to do that? Not entirely sure, but yeah, apparently Desolator is loading, so yeah, this is all right, I guess. And this game is uh, developed by Source, who also made the arcade conversion P47 Thunderbolt that I had a look at last week, I believe. This is a pretty nice looking um, title screen. Not sure if this is from the uh, arcade flyer. I don't think it is, though. But it does uh, look a bit like the ad, so maybe they digitized the ad or something, but that's pretty cool looking. And music is pretty nice. A bit noisy, but really nice. I'm not sure it has anything to do with the actual arcade game, though. Probably not. But here we are. This looks uh, a little bit like the arcade attract screen. Not bad looking at all. I mean... I mean, yeah, the arcade version isn't that amazing looking, as I've said before. Looks a bit off, <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's okay, I guess. Let's start it up and see. Oh, yeah, we got the map screen, and up there is that weird dude with the, the flasher dude. <laughs> He's just weird, that guy. I think it's the main bad guy. Ah, yes, then we have that weird flashing skeleton again. That is a really pervy... Skeleton Flasher, I must admit. Quite disgusting. I'm not sure why he's showing me his bones. <laughs> and yeah, this looks... Uh, I, I mean, almost better than the uh, arcade version. This looks a little bit cleaner. But I can't hit diagonally, which is honestly poo. Because that was a thing in the arcade. And it's really slow and, yeah, it doesn't feel nowhere near as satisfying as the uh, arcade game. Stop rolling after me. Just go away. Just leave me alone. And that's mines, by the way, if anyone's wondering. Okay. Okay, let's go over here and see if we can find a painting to punch, because that's a thing you do in this game. Oh, I've got such a useless reach. The reach is much better in the arcade. But let's go pay. Okay, what? How are you? How are you attacking me through the wall, you demon bastard? Really? Let's punch this thing. Makes a bunch of kids come out, and we can grab them. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure why. Maybe we are saving them. I hope we're saving them anyway. Uh, and then sometimes in the arcade, the uh, that will turn the monsters into other monsters or. Treasures, it's yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. And what is going on with that red demon guy? He's not supposed to do that. He's not doing that in the arcade. He's puking out like farty smoke instead of fireballs? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean yeah, the game actually looks a little bit better than the arcade, but it does not play nowhere near as 
as well. It's not really satisfying punching these guys. I mean, they go flying all over the shop in the arcade, I think, when you hit them, or at least there's some sort of effect that makes you feel like you're actually punching them. This feels super floaty. And what? What? Okay. Oh, there's a treasure. And this guy put on some weight, I think. Ah, oh, and it's so slow. <laughs> and why does monsters all of a sudden they just, they just disappear? That's strange. And that thing is supposed to puke fire at me. It didn't. Okay, very well. Fine. That's cool. And it seems like most enemies will just spawn in, like, out of nowhere. I mean, they did that in the arcade as well, but some of them would come from, a, like, a from outside and kick open this door, for instance. These guys are just randomly running around like morons or flying around. That is the longest flying kick I've ever seen. Wow. They can just levitate for days. How much sense does that make? <laughs> <laughs> Let's punch this guy on the wall here and grab the kids. A bunch of small tiny kids, yeah, hope we get points for that or something. And then let's see if we can punch the door. And why is the game constantly, like, stuttering? Whenever you hit something, it feels like the game freezes sometimes. That's really... or sometimes at least. And also, why are you walking through the wall? Re I mean, that, there's a wall there. Stop doing that. I mean, look at it! Wow, this feels really rushed. It really does. That's a shame because, as I said, I found the arcade game to be quite enjoyable. And what the hell are you? I didn't see you in the arcade game, that night guy. What is he doing? They're just chucking swords around. I uh, have no... Oh, and also stop attacking through the walls, you bunch of useless knights. And the sound effects are also rather annoying, to be honest. I am. They're really, really farty. Super farty noise. And what is going on? This Have I got a boomerang? All right, that's... That's nice, I guess. Let's kill flying guy. Please fire up! No. I'm firing, firing diagonally, which is... Ugh, a little bit wet. Come on, open the door. Uh, why am I... Sh look at this. This is... Why am I... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really a big fan of this. Uh, I think Source is capable of doing a way better job, really. I mean, I like P47 Thunderbolt. That was really nicely done. This just feels like they didn't have enough time. I mean, again, the graphics looks looks pretty nice and almost better than the uh, arcade version. But the rest's farty, annoying sound effects, lousy gameplay. Uh, and, yeah, slow gameplay? Oh, sorry, I'm punching the mirror. No, go, go away. And you've got such a lousy range punching stuff. You have no reach. None. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a, a little bit further, maybe. But I'm definitely not into this one. Oh, that was a farty cloud in my face there. Mm, what is that? A mine? I'm not sure. Looks like it's... When I get near it, it's like lighting up. Maybe we can... Yeah, it didn't kill me, right? It was a teleporter, I hope. Good. Let's go grab the bombs. Give me the bombs, please. Oh, yes. And the bombs I throw, like, in in proper directions. Why can't I do that with the boomerang? That's, that's just strange. Come on, kids. Get on home now. Get out of this miserable place. What am I supposed to... Okay. So the teleporter goes several ways. That's, uh, that's good. I guess. Uh, scrolling is pretty smooth, I suppose. Yeah, that's, uh, that's neat, decent, I think. And I don't remember these knights from the arcade game, to be honest. Maybe they appear later on, I, I don't really know. And these demon guys are just standing there, flexing their 
specs, really. They're not really doing anything. Except cheesing me through the walls, which is really, really low. <laughs> Give me the money. Money is good. I have no idea why I want money. Except to make me feel rich. Why did that bomb just go straight through? I have no clue. Uh, what? What? I don't understand. Why? Why was that a teleporter there? Did that really transport me really anywhere? I, yeah, it's, this is... This is almost weirder than the arcade game, I have to admit. Oh, there's one of the... It was one of those barrels or pots that you can use to chuck into the face of enemies in the arcade game. But in the SD game, they just show up and then they disappear, never to be seen again. That's uh, a shame, but I, because I really did like throwing pots about. Should we use teleport? I'm not sure. Let's try it. Maybe I get sent back. Nope, I get sent forward a tiny, tiny bit. This makes no sense. Absolutely none. At least the game, the SD version, is easier than the arcade uh, version, but certainly not particularly enjoyable. And I think this arcade, or the arcade game, was reasonably successful, I think. Or maybe it was a cult hit, I'm not entirely sure. But I think there's uh, more people than, than I that liked it. And apparently we can't open the door from this way because that would be just way too convenient and stop with those clouds, jeez. Give me energy. Oh my god, this is bad, I think. What? Oh, no, please, don't pick up the E yet. It's really annoying how enemies just all of a sudden disappear. I don't understand why. It's like... Is the hit detection that off that my punches carry that far sometimes? Or is it just like they disappear in a cloud of smoke because they feel like it? And turning around takes forever. Oh god. It's almost like it can't read the fire button and the joystick, di joystick direction at the same time. Yeah, this needs more love for sure. And I have no idea if I'm doing what I'm supposed to. Maybe I should grab... A little bit of health here. What? Why did I just all of a sudden lose all my health in no time? Did I just eat a bat or something? Then is this Wolverine or Dracula flying about? I'm not sure. Maybe I should go punch that mirror. Nope. Apparently not. And give give me give me that oh okay. Yes, that's fine. Ah, I've got no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I'm punching stuff, but it doesn't seem to do much difference here. Oh and I can actually jump and roll and stuff, that's that's great. Incredibly slowly, and when I do that, all the bats kind of disappear. I don't know what is going on. This game feels like it's glitched almost. I don't understand why enemies just flashing in and out. Maybe, maybe there's something wrong with the emulation. If you guys know, let me know. And all of a sudden, we've reached level two, and there's Flasher dude up there. You bloody perv. Right, so, nice carpet, and okay, I just blew up. And here's some um, very lightly clad women here. That's always nice, and I suppose we're supposed to punch them too. Uh, that's equality for you. Let's just go northwards, maybe, and see if we can find something interesting. Why are you waving your arms about? That looks weird. You can't fly. Only the flying kick guys can fly in this game. Can I just walk forward and just keep holding forward and just beat the game? I have, I just have a feeling that I could maybe do that and just ignore everyone. Well, unless they do that, of course, which is a bit cheap. Okay, let's see. Uh, and what? What? I don't get this. The teleporters are weird. 
I don't see the point of them. Let's blow up the door. Get some energy. Yeah, I certainly uh, think that you can just, if you want to, you can just hold forward and get through the game. Maybe not the bosses, of course, but, you know. Hey, kids, we're going home. And I can throw bombs straight through walls and doors. That's, uh... At least I'm as cheap as the enemies. Oh, God, there's about a million mines. And, yeah, never mind, I'm dead. So I'm not going to suffer through this a second time because, honestly, this wasn't very good at all. It was just very mediocre. It certainly needs some more love. And they certainly did not capture the satisfying gameplay of the arcade. The only redeeming quality really was the graphics, which do look rather nice and almost better than the arcade, I would say. Now, I couldn't find any English reviews of this game, so I'm just going to say I uh, hope you enjoy this quick peek at... Uh, I was going to say Kairos, but it's called Desolator on the Atari. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and all that stuff, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers.